Welcome to Shrimp Cover Lid, I'm Adrian Fort. And I'm Dalton Jim. And we are here to get extra hot and sticky. Hot and sticky, because this is our first video into the challenge. Into the challenge. We're in it, this is happening, this is happening, we're doing it. We're in the shit. As it were. As should everyone watching this video. If you're watching this video, you should be writing right now. Pace is 1,464 words. Okay. Now, you made an interesting observation about that word count. What is it? That is less than a day of NaNoWriMo. So it is not too late to jump on if you're not already, already at work here. So if you're watching this one for the first time, this is the first hot and sticky video that you've come across, go back. Find that original video, get the gist of it, and get to writing. The call to arms. This is absolutely achievable. Absolutely. And if you're ahead of that word count, if you're going to hit that word count today, that's great, that's awesome. You let us know down below and let us know on Twitter. Because this is exciting. It's happening. Yeah. We Tell us where you are, what you've done, how far you've come, uh, what you're thinking about doing. Here, here's one thing that I want to say, and I want to speak on for a second. Okay. I've done one other uh, summer, summer novel writing challenge. And the thing that struck me as I got into it was you start writing and you think, oh, this is a good idea, this will come into play later. Mm -hmm. This is a good idea, this will come into play later. Now's the time to put those things into effect. Yes. Because you will keep pushing them off and what happens is your story bloats before anything happens. So uh, for my own, it, what it was was, and this is cheesy, you can make fun of me all you want for it, it was a post-apocalyptic uh, werewolf novel, a werewolf apocalypse and where we were in the story, I kept thinking, well, they're going to, and the main character was in prison. <clears throat> I kept thinking, okay, going to get out of prison. Going to get out of prison somehow. Got to get out of prison somehow, some way, some form, facet, fashion, or manner. Okay. And I did that for about four days. Just kept pushing it. Kept, kept pushing, pushing it, it kept pushing it, kept pushing it. The, you just got to go. You'll get an idea on what, what the next big thing is. And as soon as you get the idea on what the next big thing is, it's time for that next big thing to be happening in the story. Because that's you can always go back and realize this was too soon for the story. But to go back and say this was too late in the story, you're going to be cutting out things that may be pertinent to the character because they are not pertinent to the plot. They're not pertinent, uh, not the plot, the story. They're not pertinent to the story which is happening. So you've got to get, we've got to get those things on paper as soon as possible. Absolutely. Keep things moving. Um, organization is key here because a lot of people do things a lot of different. We've seen a lot of great videos of how people are organizing, how they're plotting, how they're planning. Uh, if you have ideas, you need to be jotting them down. This is the stereotypical guy with the voice recorder. And if that works for you, that works for you. But you need to get your ideas down in your mind so you can go home, sit in your writing space, whatever it is you're doing, and get the words out. Right. Now, this is early still. We're in the infancy of our writing. I think we need to address the importance of the beginning. One thing that goes into the, the importance of beginnings, well, you had a spiel on that, right? Yes. Uh, the beginning of your piece is what captivates the reader. That is what draws them in. That first page is what lets them decide whether or not they're going to like this. Because how many times do you go to the bookstore, see the book cover, I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. And you open it up and you skim that first page. You need to punch your reader in the face. And here's the thing, don't let that be paralysis by analysis where you just, you realize I have to have something stellar right here. No, 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 let no, me, no, no. Let me stop, let me stop, let me stop everything. And then, and, 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 you know, just come up with something really, really good. Write down what you've got. Yes. You can always come back. At this point, we should really start to be playing with the beginning of the novel. Yes. We should really be setting things up. So we're going to read some first, first paragraphs. Some first paragraphs from a random selection of pieces that we enjoy. Fight Club begins. Tyler gets me a job as a waiter. After that, Tyler's pushing a gun in my mouth and saying the first step to eternal life is you have to die. For a long time, though, Tyler and I were best friends. People are always asking, did I know about Tyler Durden? That's beautiful. I'm sold. I want to read that. Right there. Also by Chuck Polinick. I'm going to read Guts. And I apologize. Inhale. Take in as much air as you can. This story should last about as long as you can hold your breath. And then just a little bit longer. So listen as fast as you can. At which point you're going to pass out because you're going to be subconsciously holding 
fucking breath. Anyway, Great Gatsby. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Whenever you feel like, feel like criticizing anyone, he told me, just remember that all the people in the world haven't had the advantages that you've had. This one, for as much as I hate this book, just sums up everything. The Gunslinger, first sentence. The man, in the, man <laughs> the man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. This from American Psycho. The first chapter is titled April Fools and we get, abandon all hope ye who enter here is scrawled in blood red lettering on the side of the chemical bank near the corner of 11th and 1st and is in print large enough to be seen from the back seat of a cab as it lurches forward in the traffic leaving Wall Street and just as Timothy Pierce notices the words, a bus pulls up. The advertisement for Les Miserables is on its side blocking his view but Price, who is with Pearson Pierce on 26 and 26, doesn't seem to care because he tells the driver he will give him $500 to turn up the radio. Be My Baby on WYNN, and the driver, black, not American, does so. Tells you so much about the characters involved. There's a lot going on And that's there. a single sentence. A lot. That's a single sentence. Slaughterhouse Five, Kurt Vonnegut, which we haven't talked about enough on this channel. All this happened, more or less. The war parts, anyway, are pretty much true. One guy I knew really was shot in Dresden for taking a teapot that wasn't his. Another guy I knew really did threaten to have his personal enemies killed by hired gunmen after the war. And so on. I've changed all the names. Mm -hmm. This from Less Than Zero by Brady Stanellis. People are afraid to merge on freeways in Los Angeles. This is the first thing I hear when I come back to the city. Blair picks me up from LAX and mutters under, mutters under her breath as her car drives up the on-ramp. She says, people are afraid to merge on the freeway in Los Angeles. Another Polinick. Uh, you have a, a big thing with Brett Easton Ellis right now. I'm still in love with Polinick. I, I haven't involved into Ellis, but Polinick, lullaby. The problem with every story is you tell it after the fact. Yeah. Um, now, along with... Oh, you got more? I've got one more. Wow. All right. I'm sorry. I, I just, I'm like, oh my God, this one, this one. Let's do them all. The Road, Cormac McCarthy, which is something that we have fought many times. When he woke in the woods in the dark, in the cold of the night, he'd reach out and touch the child sleeping behind me, beside him. So much going on still. Yeah. The beginning of your piece sets the president precedence for the rest of your piece. So if you have any doubts of what you're doing right now, because you've only got a couple days in, you need to shatter. You need to absolutely shatter those doubts. One thing that, that plays into the beginning of a piece is the introduction of characters. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will see this later when we review The Great Gatsby, but I want to get some of these in here. Uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald in this novel is very good at describing, describing people in ways that aren't just a description. Uh, this is involving the character. This is uh, an insight into the character. Okay. On Gatsby, he says on page two, as if he had some sight, some, as if he had some heightened sensitivity to the promises of life, as if he were related to one of those intricate machines that register earthquakes ten thousand miles away. Now on page six, he says of Tom. Tom would drift on forever seeking a little wistfully for that dramatic turbulence of some irrecoverable football game. And about Tom on page seven, about his actual appearance, it was a body capable of enormous leverage, a cruel body. On nine, we get the description of Daisy. I've heard it said that Daisy's murmur was only to make people lean toward her, an irrelevant criticism that made it no less charming. These are ways that we describe an actual person, not their appearance. Yes. These are ways that we build characters as opposed to presenting them. As he wasn't six foot tall, 200 pounds, with brown hair. You he saw his muscles moving under his coat jacket. Oh, I was going to say his purple shirt, but if you want to go coat jacket, I'll take it. Uh, there, you got to start developing your characters here. This is uh, Your characters are going to drive your piece, especially if you're looking at literary fiction, which I think a lot of people want. They want to do a literary fiction well, piece. And there's no harm in putting literary elements into a science fiction no. piece. Blending elephant <laughs> elephants. Blending elephants. It's been a long night. Blending Has elements. Hashtag blending elephants. Blending elements is a wonderful tool. 
Uh, let's look at the Gunslinger, how loved that piece is. It's the most ridiculous blend of science fiction and Western, right. fantasy and Western. Uh, so that there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of people have asked a lot of questions about, oh, how do I you know, sign up for this? What do I do? Uh, this is not rigid. This is not a, there's no rule book to this. Run with it. Uh, people have asked, you know, oh, well, can I work on something I've already worked on before? Absolutely. This is not about rules. This is no. about involvement. This is about engagement. This is about community. This only comes down to writing and sharing. What you need to do is you need to be writing, hit your word count, and you need to be sharing and building community and, look, and growing as a writer. If you can't do 488 and end up with 60,000 words after the October moon, then um, 200 and you'll what you'll get to you'll get to 50,000 by or uh, 28,000 or something like that by the time we get there. If you sit down, is this your first take as a writer and write 100 words a day? a page, less than a page a day, you will have grown as a writer. Absolutely. You're doing it, you're hitting your goals. That's all that matters. If, if nothing else, you grow from the discipline required to hit words every day. And next year, you'll hit it even harder. Absolutely. That's right, I'm gonna set that. We're doing this again. Anything else you wanna mention? Hot and sticky part do. Hot and sticky part do. <laughs> I got nothing, that's, that's, that's the pep talk. I think it's good. And here we are, 10 minutes into this. You're not writing, so you should probably shut us off, stop listening to us right now, and make sure you get your word count for the day. If you need to write to our lovely voices, that's not going to upset me. Uh, well, we do have playlists, so we put out some playlists, <laughs> but if you'd rather listen to us, that's okay. So make sure you get on Twitter and use the hashtag hot and sticky and share your writing. Uh, we've been pushing out daily word counts every day, what we've hit, what you should be at. And, I mean, you should be joining in. I mean, this is what it's for. And if you have a piece of your writing that you're particularly proud of or you want to share, l leave it, if you're a content creator, in your hot and sticky videos. If you are not, leave it in the comments below. We'd love to see what you guys are really working with here. And that's the point of this. It's sharing writing and it's growing a community of writers.